In this video, I'll be showing you how to get all items in the Roblox Stranger Things event, so this includes the Star Court badge, Walkie Talkie, Eleven's headgear, and Dustin's cap, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more videos on Roblox events, and like the video. Right when you join, you are going to receive Dustin's cap for completely free, you don't have to do anything at all to get it, you're just going to get it for joining the game. It said for testing though, so I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to get it later, so it may just be free now. It may cost coins in game later or you have to actually do something for it but right when you join you're going to spawn outside of the mall and it may take a while for some things to load when i first joined all of my hats were gray and the mall was missing a few things but now it loaded so there are coins up here and there's a thing that says daily challenges if you try going over to the shops they're going to say the shop is currently closed open it later this is because we need to complete the first challenge to unlock shops so it says play all mini games in the mall for a hundred coins. There are going to be certain stores around the mall that are open, so I'm going to start by going left here, and then going around the mall, then going down, and doing the same thing. So if we turn left right here, then there is going to be a mini game called Dueling Dice, and we can go inside of here, then there is going to be kind of an intro, Will is going to tell you some things. So you need to press E at a table, and it says would you like to play a match of Dueling Dice? Yes, and then you have to wait until someone else joins the game. So I don't really know how to play this because this is just kind of like a random dice game so I'm gonna choose a random character and then the player with the highest d20 starts the game so let's roll the die and uh wait where why is it not telling me the number okay there wait no I got a higher one I got 10 uh I'm a little confused. I'm just gonna use random attacks, because all we have to do is play the game. We don't have to win it. Oh, I'm pogging on this guy, but I have literally no idea what's going on. So, for other attacks, you have to, like, roll higher. So, if you don't roll that high, then it's not going to be as good. So, I'm just gonna do ambush, because that only requires a 4, and it does 10 damage. There we go, I won the match, and I did the first one, so I got 45 coins just for doing this, and then under daily challenges, that's a 1 out of 4 mini games. Now there is this place called High Score Slingashot, and let's go inside, we're gonna get another intro from Lucas this time, let's just skip all of that, and then hold E to play. Okay, so right click is going to aim, and you have to shoot those things, this is actually very easy, so right click aim, click to shoot, they're gonna randomly pop up. It is kind of feeling weird to turn. It feels slower, and also the laser that's showing is kind of late. Oh, that guy is friendly. That guy is How am I supposed to- The thing is, like, okay, yeah, I couldn't hit that. Oh, no, I shot the friendly guy, and it took a thousand points away. That's so many points. I didn't even mean to shoot the friendly guy. Or the other ones behind him, I can't even shoot it. It's literally right behind them. There we go. We got a score of 5,600, and it says it's great. I'd have a thousand more. I didn't know shooting the friendly guy would give you, like, negative a thousand points. So, 35 coins for the first play. And now we are on two out of four. If we keep going along this area, there's something called Escape from Hawkins Lab. And if we go inside, then 11 says stuff this time. And we can hold E to play. So then it says multiplayer game for six players. You can play as a survivor or the demo gorgon. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Queue up to play now. Play. Oh, we're getting teleported to an entirely different game. So now it's loading. And now it's starting. Wait, what's that flag do? Would you like to give up the match? No, I don't want to. Okay, then there is another loading screen. There are a lot of loading screens. I think this is the third or fourth time a loading screen has popped up. Now it's randomizing my team. And and I hope I get Survivor. Okay, good. I just have to escape the demo gorgon or whatever that was. So there are traps, valves, levers, and axes. So this seems kind of like piggy. Oh no, he killed someone. What was that guy even doing? He wasn't even trying to like run away or anything. Okay, now we need to open up this area. I think my teammates thought the goal of the game was to give a high five to this guy. So I'm just gonna die. Come here, I'm, I'm gonna give you a high five. Bro, why can't he kill me? Just kill me. I'm literally just like walking around and I'm not even being killed. So now we are going to be killed probably. Because it said 10 seconds. Never mind, I went in that thing. Captured score is zero. Okay. But I mean, I couldn't solo that because all my teammates died. I was the only one left. 
And it said six players, but there were only four players there. But we did play the mini game, so now we're on three out of four, and I got 45 coins for the first play. Once you rejoin, you're going to be in the back of this theater, so just go to the front, out of the door, because this is the Escape from Hawkins lab area. Now we're going to go to the last minigame, which is downstairs. If you go to the back of the mall, there's going to be something that says Scoops Ahoy Ice Cream Parlor, so like down the stairs there, then inside of this area. Steve is going to tell you a few things, and you just need to play Delivery Dash. Okay, it's starting, I have to collect things, and when I press E, it wants me to give it to the customer, but I can't even walk fast. The customer is all the way over there, and I only have like 15 seconds. I'll make it in time, probably. Oh, Oh, there are also some coins, let's collect those coins. And when we're going back, we go fast. Wait, but then it makes me go slow again. Uh, I guess we just need to do this as fast as possible. 50 seconds! Oh, there's a soda, that makes me go fast too. Okay, where even is the customer? They're upstairs, we need to go upstairs, and let's get another thing to deliver. Just keep delivering things to people until the minigame ends. And the timer is done, so my score is 1,577, that's great. I don't know if it says great for literally every score, but I think if you get a higher score, it's gonna say great. I don't know if you get a lower score, if it's gonna say terrible, you're bad at the game, or something like that. But we did four deliveries. That's decent, 35 coins plus 7 star coins collected, and that was the last minigame, so now let's skip that dialogue. And under this menu, it says play all minigames in the mall, talk to Mike to receive your reward. Mike is going to be at the front of the mall, he's the guy we talked to in the very beginning, so let's talk to him again. And you're gonna get 100 coins, now you're going to be able to purchase things from the shops, head to the accessory store to buy an item. Yep, that's the plan. So now here's how to get the items. So just go over to the store. Also daily challenges, you're going to have more quests, so buy the Star Fort badge in the accessory shop. So let's go over here and then open the store. So if you try buying things in the very beginning before you do that quest, you're going to not be able to buy anything, it's just going to say the shop is closed. But now that it's open, let's buy the Star Fort badge. Also you can buy these with the Robux, don't recommend doing that because you can literally get them for free, but let's get this badge. So I'm going to click 50 coins, then you have to click it again to confirm your purchase. Then it's going to say new owned item and give you the Star Court badge or Roblox badge. Now the other items we can buy are Levin's headgear and the walkie-talkie, but those are all of the items currently in-game. Later when they add more, this menu is either going to be bigger or the other vendor is going to sell different things, but right now both of them sell the exact same things. If you get high up on the leaderboard, then you're going to be able to get more coins from leaderboard rewards, so even just getting a little bit of score, that is pretty pretty good. So this is Hawkins Lab Escape, so we actually need to do this and escape the lab, which is going to be hard unless our teammates actually know how to play. A lot of people are playing it just to get the quest completed, so they don't really care about completing it, and they're probably just going to die in the beginning. I'm not sure if everyone has the same exact challenges, but if you do, the next two challenges are play as a survivor in Hawkins Lab Escape and eliminate all survivors as the Demogorgon in a single game of Hawkins Lab Escape. Actually, it says new quests in 14 hours. So every 14 hours you're gonna get new quests. Eliminate all survivors. That actually seems easy because most people aren't really trying to win. And then play as a survivor. That's literally just playing it basically because most of the time I'm gonna get survivor. Let's just go over to the lab escape mini game. So we're back here and can press E to start then play and we're going to do the quests here now to get more coins. After this, or well, if it takes too long, if I get unlucky and don't get the Demogorgon ever, then I'll probably just end the video there. But how you get coins fast is just by doing whatever quests it says to do and playing mini games. We're a survivor, and all I have to do is play as a survivor. I don't even have to escape, but I want to escape so I can be on the leaderboard, because the leaderboard, that was up there earlier. You get coins from getting a high score on this game mode. It will probably be another mini game later, but right now it's this mini game. So I'm going to try to get a pretty high score. And I am once again the last player on my team. Everyone else has died, and I'm probably going to die because I don't think I can solo this. The thing has slightly faster walk speed than me, that's not good. I'm gonna set a trap down so that when it continues walking it will just get stuck, I guarantee it's gonna touch the trap again. Yep, I don't think we are going to win this game mode unless if the Demogorgon guy is friendly because if you don't win you're gonna get a zero score. So you probably need him to be friendly or you need a team that knows what they're doing. 
but we played as a survivor in Hawkins Lab Escape and got 20 more coins for just playing that mini game. So keep playing mini games, you're going to continue getting coins, and in probably an hour or so, you're going to get the other items, or at least one of them. This game is very grindy, it's a lot of repeating the same things over and over again, but there we got 100 more coins. And now we don't have that challenge anymore, so you're gonna get two every 14 hours. Wait, why does it say zero minutes now? If you speed up the time on your computer, it may be local time, so try doing that. And you could possibly get new quests early. But we need to play this minigame again, and if we don't get the Demogorgon, then that's going to be it for this video. If we do, I'll kill everyone, and then we're going to be done with all of the daily quests and I'll end this video. There are only three three people here, but it's still starting the match. I guess that means we'll have a 33% chance to become the Demogorgon. Please make me the Demogorgon. No, I'm a survivor again. I don't know why. Like, I've played this four times already, and it only gives me survivor. Like, I haven't gotten the Demogorgon yet. I've just been unlucky. But I guess that's gonna be it for this video. Just do your daily quests to play the mini games. I already showed all of the mini games locations and how to play them, so make sure to subscribe with the notifications on for more videos on Roblox events, like the video, join the Discord server linked in the description, follow my Twitter at Talanthric, use our code Talanthric to support my channel, let me know in the comments what you think about this event, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Wait, somehow we won? I think the- yeah, the Demogorgon literally just left the game, so we have a score of 100 now, we're actually gonna be on the leaderboard and maybe get a little bit of coins, or will we be on the leaderboard? I'm not too sure, let's see real quick, and then that's gonna be the end of this video. Now up here it says 79th, yay I'm a 79th, so that means I'll actually get something. Wait, it only shows top 50 here, so if I press find you, then it goes more here, and yeah, I'm a 79, 250 coins, that's actually decent.